Insta360 RS 1 inch, the camera no one wants to make a ND filter for. So we're gonna make our own one today. Ciao everybody, this is Patfo and welcome to my channel. When it comes to sourcing lenses, I did a deep dive into optics and discovered some important points. The lower the index, the cheaper and thicker is the lens. On the other hand, the higher the index, the more expensive and thinner is the lens. So when choosing a lens, it's the best to find out the one that fits your budget and design around it, rather than try to find a lens that fits your design. Ideally, we want to use a neutral density filter, in the glasses world known as grey tinted lens. For this project, I set the for a 75mm in diameter 2mm thick resin amber lens, only because it was on sale, extremely cheap and posted from Australian warehouse. Once my material arrived, I began taking measurement. It is important to keep in mind the shrinkage of the material you will use for 3D printing because it can affect your design. I will be using ASA, which means I'll need to add 0.8mm to all my diameter to achieve a precise nap fit. For software, I'm using the free version of Fusion 360, which is perfect for hobbyists and creators. It allowed me to have up to 10 editable design, which is more than enough for my needs. As for my slicer software, I'm using an older version of Simplify 3D. It might not be the most advanced, but it supports my 3D printer, and I don't feel the need to upgrade at this time. Speaking of 3D printer, I'm using a Tech X Max. I love it because it's been a reliable tool, hassle-free, that hasn't let me down once. The support is also great and overall is a classic that still performs well. In terms of design, it's extremely simple. We need to draw three circles that share the same center point. The diameter of each circle will be defined by our measurement. Then we extrude the solid and we send everything to printing. Printing takes only 20 minutes. Assembly is even faster. Snap the first holder and then snap the second one. When you try to put the lens in, go from one side and with your finger push the lens all around the edges. Then do the same things with the second lens. And voila! You're ready to fill. If you like this project, please like and subscribe. Thank you for your time. I'll see you to the next one. Bye!